over the past decade, I've created over 100 logos for various clients in a lot of different industries. And now that Dolly 3 is out and you're able to use it using Bing, I'm going to show you the capabilities that it has for logo design. And we're going to compare that to Mid Journey and see if Dolly 3 really is the Mid Journey killer that everyone is touting it to be. So if you have a Microsoft Bing account, you're going to want to navigate to bing.com forward slash images forward slash create, and you're going to get access to this image creator powered by Dolly. And the interesting thing here is, is that everyone is claiming that Dolly is so amazing compared to Mid Journey. However, I've been using Mid Journey for a very long time, and I got to say the images that it creates are very comparable, if not better than what Dolly is able to do, but only in certain situations. And so that being said, when you just put in a prompt like a muscular female boxer photorealistic, you're not going to get something too different than what you could get in Mid Journey. However, I wanted to test out what happens when we prompt Dali to give us logos. So the first prompt I gave it to compare it to Mid Journey is I said a barbershop logo with the name Gotham Groomers and a black background, vector style emblem. The reason I said the name Gotham Groomers is because historically AI platforms have been terrible with letters, with stringing words together. And honestly, in a lot of these that we see from the options that Dali gives, it in fact is having trouble with letters. You could see that Gotham is spelled with two A's here, and a lot of this is not legible. However, sometimes it produces results that are perfect. This right here is a perfect logo. I guarantee you that if there was a New York City barbershop that hired me to create a logo for them, they would like this and might even accept this right off the bat. I mean, I'd have to change a few things here, maybe the number 288, I could replace with something that makes a little more sense, but this is impressive stuff. Whereas when I compare it with the same exact prompt to Mid Journey, this is what we got. And I think what's happening is that Mid Journey is focusing too much on the word Gotham and they're thinking of it in the sense of like DC Comics and Gotham City and something that's dark, slightly evil, mysterious. But this is not what I was looking for. And so in this comparison, Dolly 3 definitely takes the cake and did a phenomenal job. Now let's take a look at the next example. Here I asked it for a logo for an artificial intelligence consulting company called AI Ambitions. And as you can see, it is still having some trouble with letters, but it's doing a pretty good job. For instance, the only mistake it made here was it spelled ambitions with two eyes instead of one eye. But a lot of these options are pretty neat and I could see with a little bit of tweaks, these actually being usable. My favorite one out of these is this one right here. So let's see how it compares to my favorite from what Mid Journey gave me. And as you can see, Mid Journey completely neglected the fact that I wanted AI Ambitions as the name of the company, but it did provide some cool looking futuristic artificial intelligence vectors. And the nice thing about this is if you have access to both tools, you can probably mix and match. And then if you know Photoshop, you can create something really, really special. Or in the case of logos, you'd probably be using Adobe Illustrator. For the next example, I asked Dolly3 to create a logo for an accounting firm called Accountable Accounting, Calculator Theme Professional Vector, and it did a pretty good job. Now, again, you could see here that it is having trouble with letters, although, again, it does a much better job than anything that Midjourney was able to do, but even the numbers, it completely messed up here. So these platforms still have a long ways to go, and although in the context of logos, I would say that Dolly 3 is doing a pretty good job compared to Mid Journey, where I have no idea why they provided me with some juiced up accountant that's squeezing a couple of calculators and some cassettes, it looks like, and it says Atatera Kial Kani. It makes absolutely no sense. So again, when it comes to letters, Mid Journey is way behind and it needs to catch up and catch up quick because in the game of artificial intelligence platforms, if you fall behind, you are rendered obsolete very, very quickly. So Mid Journey has to be careful here. 
I have a lot of clients that are chiropractors and I've created a lot of chiropractic logos over the years. So I was really curious to see what result I would get when I put in a logo for a chiropractor in New York City, Vector, a spine using the colors blue and orange, Vibrant. What I like is that it understood what I'm looking for. So as you can see, it did use the colors blue and orange. The problem is this spine is all messed up. This is not the way that a spine looks. A spine doesn't go all the way up to the base of the skull. And it certainly is not created to the way that our biological spine is. So in this sense, I'm not too excited about it, but some of these concepts are pretty cool. For instance, I actually kind of like this one, although I wouldn't really use it for a chiropractor logo, but it did a pretty decent job understanding what I was looking for. Probably the closest to something that I would use might be maybe this one if it was done correctly. Now Midjourney came up with this, which is a very abstract form of a spine. And I didn't ask for abstract. I said a logo for a chiropractor in New York City, a vector, a spine using the colors blue and orange, vibrant. And it really did not do a pretty good job here. Next, I wanted to see how it plays with logos that already exist. So I said the Nike logo in the style of Picasso. It did a really, really good job here. I actually wanna show you guys some of the versions that it created, which are super, Super, super cool. I mean, the capabilities of Dolly 3 are clearly impressive and it's only going to get better. So again, I am slightly worried about how Mid Journey is going to combat this because when I ask the same thing of Mid Journey, you can see that they cannot really digest letters and there was no Nike letters here, but it did do some cool imagery of Picasso styled Nike things. Like I really like this Nike sneaker and I even like this concept here a lot actually. So a lot of these are pretty cool and you could create different types of art, but I wouldn't say that it did a phenomenal job. And again, I probably have to give it to Dolly 3 from providing me exactly what I was looking for versus what Midjourney did. And we're just going to do a couple more. So I wanted to see what happens if I say a logo in the style of Nike using the word ambitions. And as you can see here on some of them, it actually got it correct. And it's kind of Nike-esque, but with the word ambitions. When I asked Midjourney to do the same exact thing, I have to say that Midjourney is able to create some really, really groovy art. Like this right here looks like an actual piece of artwork. Like if I was in Nike corporate, I would have this on my wall. Like this is pretty dope the way that they're able to create this and so very easily and endlessly. Again, you could keep prompting these AI platforms to keep creating and keep reiterating if you're not happy. So the very last example, I set a low go for a personal injury law firm called Belkin Law Vector. And I actually really like this because it didn't mess up Belkin Law too much here. And so again, I'm very, very impressed with Dolly 3 in this sense. If we compare it to what Mid Journey created, which I'm actually impressed that it used some letters here, but incorrectly, but still we're getting somewhere. They are using some letters, but as you can see, for the most part, they completely ignore my request. However, I have to say that some of the vector designs that are produced by Mid Journey, I actually like them a lot better than I like Dolly 3. However, I also have to point out that I've been prompting a lot of Dolly 3 in a similar way that I would prompt Mid Journey because I pay for Mid Journey and I've been creating a lot of art on Mid Journey and a lot of projects I execute for clients using Mid Journey. So I'm used to conversing with Mid Journey and using those prompts. But perhaps as I get more comfortable with Dolly 3, I'm going to start using my prompts differently. Something that Dolly 3 might respond more favorably to and produce content that I'm actually really, really looking looking for. So with that being said, I hope you guys appreciate this video. Thank you for watching it in its entirety. And let me know, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that Dolly 3 is breathing down the neck of Mid Journey or they have already surpassed it? One thing is for sure. If you are a logo designer, you better start integrating AI into your workflow or go ahead, log on to LinkedIn and update your resumes.